Hello there. Just wanted to give you a quick update on the Rosetta Cal. Now, you should have seen the unboxing video that we did. I must confess to being still being on week one. Um, and I hadn't done very much of week one until yesterday. I actually have still, you can see, that much left to do with week one because I've actually just managed to undo a load of it um, by mistake. But also it got to it got to half ten last night and I just couldn't go on any longer. Oh, there's quite a few dog hairs here. Apologies. I do have two very hairy dogs. Um, this is such a lovely pattern. I've never done tapestry crochet before. Now I will say this is not perfect. You can see on the back there's a few places where I've I've not moved my colour up properly, so apologise for that. But it is for me, so you know I'm not gonna get too hung up on that. Um, and not everything in life is perfect. Um, but I am absolutely loving it. Now, I haven't used our tribe before to crochet with. Um, now, if you make a mistake, it's a little bit tricky to undo. Top tip, just be gentle. But look at the colour changes. Um, I'm just loving it. And I love that shade of blue as well. Gosh, I will say there's probably more dog hairs on this than I thought. Um, I'm sure people do crochet with cat hair. Maybe this, is my, this, maybe this should be my latest thing. Oh, it doesn't help that I'm sticking it on my needle hook either. Let me get that out of the way. So this was the colour pack that I was doing. And look, just look at these colours. So, so far, we've used that and that. And it is really lovely. It was a bit fiddly to get my head round because you have to thread the yarn through through every stitch, which you don't see, actually, when it's done. But a couple of, well, more than a couple of times, quite often, I've had to go back and redo it again to, put, to lock the yarn into place. Also, and I know I should do this anyway, Amy and I had a conversation about this before, that changing colour, I don't change colour in the top of the previous stitch. And I know I should, but usually I'm changing colour at the end of the row, so I don't worry about it too much. But if you don't do it on this, you do see it. So I've had to do, I've had to, had to go back quite a few times and do it. But look, now I'm a bit bumpy in the middle, but again, it's the power of blocking. I know that that's going to block out. It's not really ripply, it just is a little bit bumpy there. Um, but look, it's, it is the most beautiful design. So that is the end of week one. Week three is released this week, or it might even be week four. I am a few weeks behind, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. So I'm not too worried about that, but just looking forward to carrying on with it.